What is up designers? Welcome to my tutorial on how to present logo concepts to your clients. I will be showing you how I do it and then how you can do it. So this is we, we are currently in Illustrator and I'm going to show you the uh, layout of the files that I'm about to send. And uh, we uh, essentially have to export this artboard selection to PDF file to present it to the client. Note that this is concept only so this is not final logo this is only to send uh, the concepts to the client so they can choose one of the options that i present and i've crafted five options for them here and i do recommend having three to five options for the client you can do you know just one or two as well that's up to you but uh, generally i don't recommend doing more than five because then they get confused and uh, they might have too many options to choose from uh, and um, yeah so uh, what I like to do and this is all up to you but I like to create sketches after I receive the brief from the client once I receive the brief I do a little research on the topic and then create sketches on paper and that allows me to just grab the ideas in my head and put them on paper and usually you want to do this because ideas that you have in your imagination might not look good uh, in the real world. And then also this will just uh, show you what's a good option to put in the digital format. Now, as you can see, I have several concepts here drawn, but I only created one of the concepts, which is this one in the digital format. And uh, surprisingly, the client also chose to go with this option. Although the other options were generated uh, in digital uh, format only, so I didn't uh, put these uh, ideas, or rather they, these ideas didn't, did not came to me while I was sketching, they came to me while I was designing in Illustrator already. But what this does is it gets rid of the bad ideas that you may have and leaves you with uh, good ones, or at least it gives you some ideas that you can merge then afterwards to to create the digital version of it so essentially i recommend doing this and then also putting photo like this for your client to see that you have in fact been working on the concepts by yourself and they are not stolen uh, so this is a good way to demonstrate that you actually put in the work uh, outside of uh, illustrator and went out and explored some options um, with your own creativity. So what I usually do is I create um, a file with a thousand by thousand pixels and create as many artboards as you need. Uh, so for this example, we have seven and you can just type in seven artboards here and then create a file and then this way you will have the artboards ready so you can place the photograph as well as your concepts. If you have less concepts, just create less artboards. But another thing I like to do is just add a thank you page at the end, which allows the presentation not to just end abruptly. So this is how the presentation looks once it's exported. So you have this on your first page. Of course, you can add introduction or a little text before the first slide just to say hello to the client and what you know describe the brief maybe in short or describe your ideas or thoughts that you had when you were designing and then it just shows the options the concepts um, as as the slides go and then ends with a thank you note so this is what you would be getting and now notice that all of my concepts are in black and white and they are also in two versions black on white and white on black and then also what i like to do is don't use the completely black color and then for the white you can also see that it's slightly off white that gives it a softer feel because if they were completely white they would be a little too strong in contrast this just gives it uh, as i said a softer look to it that's just my preference uh, so yeah, and then I have the uh, black uh, background here stretched across the artboards and as well as the white one. Uh, that's just to keep the 
if I if I do export this file just so uh, when I export it in PNG that the file does not have a transparent background but it's on white. Another quick thing you can do to make the presentation even more clear is create uh, page numbers. What I like to do is I just create a, a little rectangle in the darkest color and then put a text over it uh, like numerical text. Uh, make that white and then you know center it um, and then if if yours doesn't snap like this when you are near your artboard corners make sure you go to view and snap to point is on uh, and then once you do that you can just select these two components and then press alt or option on your keyboard and then drag it over to the next artboard and once you place it in the right spot, you just press Control D to repeat or duplicate the action uh, several times or as many artboards you want to uh, put the numerals on. And then once that's done, you can just uh, click on the text and rename them. Uh, maybe you have to center them a little bit and then yeah, same with the rest of the text uh, just to keep them uh, correct. And uh, what that does is it's allowing the client to refer to the design concept instead of just saying, oh, this one, they, they can just say, you know, oh, I like the third option. Can we go with that? So this uh, allows for that ease of communication. And it's pretty simple, simple to make. After you're done with everything, just go to file, export, and then click export for screens. Uh, and then once you're there, simply change the format from PNG to PDF and make sure you press this single file as that will allow you to have a PDF file that is uh, containing all of the artboards here. And then just, uh, you know, assign the location. You, you can name the prefix here and name the file here. And then, yeah, that's it. Just export the artboard and you have your presentation ready. So essentially that's it for this tutorial. Just leave any questions you have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.